Hi guys, my name's Andy Crowley and this is my top five party songs of 2015. All of these are perfect to play on an acoustic guitar, just to have a sing-along by yourself or get some friends together and have a sing-along between you to kind of play for other people. It is getting up to party season after all this time of year, so you want to have something to play for people. And it just turns out that some of the biggest hits of this year have actually had quite similar chords. And these first three songs I'm going to give you uh, actually have, have the same chords in them. So the first one is Sugar by Maroon 5 and if I just give it a quick demo first of all from an F chord Sugar Yes please Won't you come and put it on me Sugar Yes please Won't you come and put it on me uh, the second song I have lined up for you guys is Jason Derulo and Want You To Want Me which we can play with those same chords and has quite similar strumming as well so this one is Girl, you're the one I want you to want me and if you want hey girl you got me there's nothing I wouldn't do I wouldn't do just to get up next to you great song and the final one of those three that are really similar is uh, Jess Glynn and Hold My Hand. One of the biggest hits certainly this half of this year and um, again we're starting from a C. No capo needed for these ones. Um, so this one goes, well darling won't you hold my hand? Oh won't you hold my hand? Yes I don't want to walk on my own. I don't want to walk alone You know, all those songs C, A minor, F, D minor All the straightforward chords that we've been covering on my channel for the last couple of years Absolutely perfect for you guys uh, The other two, we have one of my recent uploads which is Cheerleader We're going to do this without a capo and it's just got three chords in it Ooh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader She's always right there when I need her Same chords all the way through the majority of that song And finally, I'd say this is the biggest hit still of this year Even though it was released technically in 20, uh, 2014 uh, I've got to show you guys again how to play Uptown Funk For those of you that haven't done it yet So I'm going to be showing you the little riff And the bass part as well, so you can play it on uh, on your guitar. All of that will be covered in this video. Let's get you straight in for a close up and show you how to play the top party songs of 2015. So I think the best strumming pattern to go for for the first three songs, which are "Sugar," "Want You to Want Me," and "Hold My Hand," is this one. And this is a variation on down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. And that's the most common strumming pattern ever. We're just adding a tap on beats two and four. Down, tap, up, up, tap. Down, tap, up, up, tap. One, two, three, and four. Tap, down, tap, up, up, tap, down, tap, up, up, tap, down, tap, up, up, tap. And I'm demoing that with a C chord. Um, other strumming patterns will work, and I think for the tempo of this song, if you can't do that when you be best off just with downs and ups, so one and two and three and four and But if you can work on down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, and then try and add the tap after. You'll probably have the best success at nailing these three songs that we're going for. The first one of that is Sugar, which we're going to start off with an easy F chord. So that C I was on before. Take your middle finger down a string and your third finger down a string. 
Mm. And we're playing an F major 7, which is the easiest way we can play an F chord. If you want to go for a full bar chord F, you go for it, guys. That's cool. But just to make sure everyone can follow this, we're going to go F. And that's for a bar. To A minor. D minor. And then C. And that chord sequence goes throughout the entire song. So we have your F chord, and I'll demo these all together slowly. Two, three, F chord. F chord, A minor, D minor, and a C. Now to do those changes well with this particular strumming pattern, I'm changing off each chord on this last up strum, down, down, up, up, down, up. I've kept my first finger down because that's an anchor finger between F and A minor. But to give myself time to change, up is totally off and I'm moving. I'm getting on my bike to the next chord because if we leave it too late, there's always that space which we want to try and eradicate. So down, mute, up, up, down, then your chord. Change, lift, lift. Okay, that's the best way to do all of these first three songs. So that's Sugar. Want you to want me, same strumming pattern, we're just on each chord a little bit longer, and we just have C, A minor, and that easy F chord we've looked at in Sugar. So for this one, just a quick demo. I want you to A minor. Same strumming pattern, but it's two bars of each. Easy F chord, back to A minor. C goes four, one, two, A minor. Three, four, one, two, three, F chord. Back to A minor. And with the easier down and up strumming pattern, two, three, four, C. Another one. I want A minor. And if you want A girl F chord, there's nothing I know I wouldn't A minor. And then we loop that sequence. So surely from that you can tell how much this tap really gives you. And that tap sound, just to reiterate, is coming from you tapping the strings onto the frets itself. That's how you'll get a real snap to this. We're not sort of hitting your guitar really hard to get this sound. We're just tapping. And that's how we get a really sweet tap. Um, for the full chord sequence to all the songs in this, this uh, video, do check out the description below. The tabs are all on my website for each one of these songs. Because for the next song, Hold My Hand, we've got a much longer sequence. It's not just this, this, uh, the same all the way through as this short demo. But I will demo the chorus, and we've got a couple of uh, slash chords in this one. These are chords like the C slash B. So there's our C chord. To play C slash B, we move your middle finger up a string and take your third finger off. And it's the root note that's gone from a C to a B note. And the other slash chord here is an F slash E. So to make this sound uh, really cool, we're going to have to move your third finger up from a normal uh, easy F chord and add your little finger where it was. But then here's the cool thing, we can let all six strings ring out. So there's an F chord, like the bar chord F, with an E root note. 
Okay? Sounds a bit Spanishy. Pretty fun. Um, so there's our F slash E when that chord crops up, okay? And we've got each uh, chord typically for two bars of each, which are C, C slash B, E minor, and then this F chord. So we have your C chord for a single bar, move to that C slash B, and then we go to E minor, and that E minor is for two bars, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. F chord, F slash E, and to do that I just took my thumb off. So we got the F chord, F slash E, take the thumb off, and won't you understand, is a D minor. And we stay on that D minor for a little bit longer again. And then the second and the rest of the song is just a slight variation on that, but you will need to follow that chord sheet, okay? So just a demo of that one more time. So darling, a C chord, C slash B, don't you hold my hand? Cause I don't want a F chord, lift your thumb off for the E and D minor. Cause I don't want to walk alone. Slight variation for the second bit. Are you ready for this? No I'm ready for this. So, second time through, A minor instead of the E minor. Then we go for that F chord. Ready for this. F slash E. Just done by taking the thumb off. F chord. F slash E. And then to D minor. To finish that one off. So, darling, won't you hold my hand? So a longer sequence, but if you followed that chord sheet in the description and use the ideas that I've given you in this video about those slash chords, you'll be totally fine. These last two songs are a little bit different, but we do have videos accompanying these as well, so I'll just give a quick demo uh, of each of these. Cheerleader starts with a D chord, then an A, and then a G, and we just do single strums of each of those chords, so we go D, Two, three, four, A, G. Two, three, four, A, G. D. Two, three, four, A, G. And then the pre chorus and the chorus is uh, D, G, A, and G. And those just loop. A cheerleader, and if you can do downs and ups, two and three and four and we can hear that strumming's more interesting with the downs and ups. Certainly, it's just down and down, up, down, up for each chord, and again. We're gonna change on that last up. Down, up, down, change. Down, up, down. Lift off your chord. Lift, lift. Really cool tip with the lifting off the chords there. And finally, we have Uptown Funk, released at the end of last year, but this is still a fantastic song. And seeing as that main riff is so easy to do, and it does work on acoustic or electric guitar, I thought I'd show you this one. This is really one of the few guitar parts in this song, the other part's a bass one. So for this we have a flat first finger over the thinnest two strings at fret 11, so this is uh, fret 13. So this is just one past your double dot, and it's where uh, many guitars kind of end. And sometimes it's a little bit awkward without this cutaway, but that's the reason you get a guitar with a cutaway, so we can do this, uh, these sort of licks. But you'll be able to do this if, if you don't have one. And we just hit them in two short bursts. One, two. And relax your finger every time that you do it. One, two. One, two. And after two of those, 
we move your first finger down a string and move, put your middle finger on the thinnest string where your first finger was. And these are just on your tips. So you've got finger one, string two at uh, fret 12, middle finger, fret 13 on the thinnest E string. And here we hit a couple more of them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Demo of the whole thing. One, two, twenty four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just that last one that's a little bit longer. For the demo of how that works in context as well, I've got a video here showing you how to play this part of Uptown Funk and much more of the riff as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But we're going to move on now to show the main riff, which starts on an open D string. Nice and simple. Open D, third string, third thicky string. And then we hit that one more time and hit string five. I'm doing this with my little finger because it's a bit of a stretch down there for most people. So open, open, five, three. Open, open, five, three. And then we do open, five, three again. So let's see where we've got up to. Open, open, five, three, open, five, three. And that's all on that, that D string, okay? Open, open, five, three, open, five, three. And then to finish off, move to the thicker string, the one just above it, and go three, five. So that was one just above, three to five. And that finishes off the riff. Now I'm taking my fingers off there to make that very clear to you, but really you want to keep all your fingers as close as possible, as close to the guitar like this at all times. If that little finger's like fighting right out here every time you're playing and you have flying finger syndrome, you want to keep them as close as possible. Check out where my middle and third finger are as I play this riff. They're as close as they can be to the guitar itself, and that helps play this riff and other riffs. One more demo. Open, open five, three, open five, three, three, five, just to, just to finish off. Um, this song, if I was playing it on an acoustic guitar, I'd play it differently. I wouldn't include that riff. I'd do it with different chords to give more of a, a fuller sound just on one guitar without abandoning things. So to see that video uh, of me demoing that and showing you a full lesson on how to do that different version, check out this video here and the links are also in the description for all of those songs. So that's my top five party songs of 2015 that you can learn pretty straightforward on your acoustic guitar. Do check out these other top fives and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like what I do. We've got hundreds of lessons on this channel now and they'll all be much easier to find on the website at andyguitar.co.uk. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in one of those videos. Happy practicing, take care of yourselves and bye for now.